Hello guys, welcome to my channel and thank you for stopping by. I hope everybody well and have an amazing day. Uh, today I'm going to review. I have uh, two battery charger for my my car. One is Ampic 2M, 8M and 15M and this one is uh, it's the RC smart charger uh, the different with this one is this one has more feature and this is a 20 m and right now I just wanna show you guys it's so easy to maintain like right now I have my friend has a car that uh, live in my house right now because he's a uh, travel it's been a while and I'm gonna try to check the battery with the charger this is the charger I got it quite a while from Amazon We just need to hook up and see how much the current right now will show you everything here. All right. First, we gonna put just right there and hook up the connection positive and negative just like that and then we're gonna plug it in I saw I see it's over here capacity is a uh, 50% the capacity is uh, 50 percent 12.2 volt and we can do auto standard 2 ampere as a trickle charge we're gonna do trickle charge just to make a, a full this is and also you can choose whatever you want you know but this one is a smart charger they automatic uh, basically recognize yeah this one has reconditioned winter standard AGM and gel and 2 ampere 8 ampere 15 ampere and auto all right now I'm gonna show you the other charger now this is the other charger all this product is not endorsed by any company I purchased this with my own money I just wanna give you guys an honest review This one is uh, smaller, that one is bigger, but both is work very well. And they have a nice connection is convenient they have the shape that you will not mistaken what size that supposed to go but the 
the wire is a little bit short then I have to move my table closer to the car other than that don't have any problem all right gonna put that one okay now we try to get this smart chargers HDRCP20 uh, this one is work differently you have to choose what type of battery basically you connect it to the power but you just connect one the positive and the negative still off and then you can choose what mode that you're gonna take right right now we this one is the AGM or slice lead acid after that we just connect the black one and they automatically recognize right here it said the battery is a 40 percent and we do 4.9 ampere I'm gonna try this one for a while uh, basically both charger was nice and worked well I've been using this MPIC also a couple of time and the smart chargers I use this uh, for live PO4 I guess I have a live PO4 uh, battery that's why I bought this one this is um, I charge my live PO battery I just give a example so far it's work very good because live PO has to has setting or light PO is supposed to be charged at the rate 14.6 volt otherwise it's not gonna get charged all the way to the full this uh, charger is very compact and has a feature up to 20 ampere and has a manual selection uh, that's that's about it guys uh, thank you for watching I just give a short video how you can uh, use the battery charger for your car when your car is not being used for a while usually is automatically drain the battery especially the lead acid battery you have to be really careful because if drawn uh, less than 50 percent sometime is uh, is not really good but so far this one is said the other one is 50% the other one 40% that means the battery should be still in the good condition we can charge it but if you go down like really flat then it uh, can damage the battery